Joy, congratulations, named to referee the Women's Rugby World Cup final. You must be over the moon. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think I need to pinch myself every now and then. Um, a massive honour and, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to it. If you asked me three, four years ago whether this would even be um, an option, I would have said absolutely not. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm just flabbergasted. You've had a long career in rugby playing and, and now refing. Take us back to some of the early days playing for the Ireland women's team. Well, I suppose I came a long way back back in 2002. We'd be losing 100 points to nil against the likes of England and, and the Frances. And to be honest, our aim wasn't to go out and win a game. Our aim was to score a try. To you know, Obviously, to the latter years, then winning the Grand Slam was probably uh, the pinnacle of my career. And uh, it was time for me to hang up the boots. Um, did I ever decide or did I ever contemplate refereeing? Absolutely not. I was plagued by Dave McHugh, referee manager from the RFU and a uh, very persistent um, gentleman and am I thankful he was that persistent looking back to where I am today. And you mentioned you picked up the whistle maybe three or four years ago. It's been some trajectory since then. Yeah, absolutely. I, I suppose it's it's been challenging. Um, have I Did I enjoy it from the very beginning? Absolutely not. I was probably too... Um, competitive with myself I knew what standard was necessary and I, pro I probably knew I wasn't there from the very start as every referee would start out um, but yeah look it's it's the last year has been an amazing experience and I've got to I've achieved an awful lot and I've got a massive amount of opportunities and thankfully I've taken the opportunities and and um, and I've, I've done quite well with with what I've been um, provided with and I've enjoyed every moment been very lucky and here we are now, the Women's Rugby World Cup. It's been an incredible tournament in Dublin and Belfast. What's it been like from, from the referees and the officials' point of view? Well, I suppose I wouldn't have much experience in a, in a team environment as an official. Obviously, I'd have more experience as, as a player, but um, I'm being genuine when I say this. It's been fantastic. It, there's been a fab group of individuals and a great team ethos um, because it's important to, to remain as a team to get the right outcome. For, for the players in the matches and it's been great fun and I've thoroughly enjoyed it and um, it's made the experience all that more enjoyable for me um, and I made a lot of friendships and, and it's, it's, it's great. And here we are, day before the big game. As a player you'd have had a routine, as a referee how different is that routine? Yeah, I don't know actually, that's a good one, no one's ever asked me that. Um, do you know what, I'm just I'm kind of chilling out today. Um, I suppose I've preparation um, as far as I just need to make sure that I'm I'm aware of any trends possible that that may may arise by both teams and uh, I think the main thing is you just don't overthink anything and just go out and do ever do the same as you have leading up up to this moment and um, and just being as prepared get an early night and and yeah probably similar to as a player really to be honest. Joy, it's been a pleasure to watch you playing and now refereeing. Thank you. Best of luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you very much.